You gotta promise, Miles. I promise. Who do you think you are? Really? We are supposed to be the good guys. We are. What's up, Spidey everyone from the multiverse? This is your good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Fortune 2 fans, the other one. And just like across the Spider-Verse, when my mom was wearing a, wearing a horse, act like a cowboy. And now it's time for the another episode of this true and a pee-haw. <laughs> So the first trailer we're going to talk about, which is never than the first work of the teaser trailer, which is never than the, which is never than the new Pixar film called It O.O.S. Honestly, guy, even I'm more looking forward, um, even I, even I am more looking forward to Inside Out 2 more than this, because this film, it looked like a, looked like a fun and entertaining movie, but I'm, but I doubt this film is going to be what you as my favorite Pixar film of all time, but what you will always be my favorite Pixar film. If you don't care about what you, eh, I'm probably this film is not for you because I'm probably this film is going to be like a generic space movie like we see like a million times. Yeah, I definitely agree with Troll with Troll fan. Yeah, this film looks too generic. <laughs> 13 years ago, we have the worst movie of 2010, and that movie makes Saw 3D to work like a masterpiece more than The Last Ember, directed by M. Night Shyamalan and Ding Dong. But now Netflix is going to take what the problem with The Last Ember back in 2010, because honestly, I think The Last Ember back in 2010 is way worse than Saw 3D and Marmaduke. And sorry guys, so what's up this live action adaptation of The Last Ember will do the right thing. Netflix. I'm counting on you, man. I'm counting on you. Eh, I have no idea if this is going to happen in live action. Yeah, after I saw the trailer, honestly, guys, I am so looking forward to this movie. But yeah, in the ending, um, in the ending, when the guy just pulled his arm all away and punched the guy, yeah, such a horrible CGI. But overall, not bad, Netflix. Not bad. Keep it up. Man, Guy Goodell, such a awesome trailer. Well, even I think the, the um, even I think the villain from the Fifty Shades movie is going to be way better than he was in the Fifty Shades movie. So let's hope he will be a awesome villain instead of generic villain. But overall, Guy Goodell, I love you, girl. Keep up the great work. We're even you um, we're even you're no longer as Wonder Woman. But hey, got your uh, got your action genre. So I cannot wait to see it on August 11th. <laughs> Guys, I gotta be honest, I was almost gonna be done with the Sony Universe movie after I saw the movie called Bovius, which is the worst piece of garbage, and I was completely done with that, with that universe, but after I saw the Red Ben trailer of Karain, Karain the Hunter, and all guys said, this is out of that one of the most brutal, violent, and bloodiest, gory trailer I have ever seen in my 20 years of my life, and the actor from the Bullet Train, Keep it, uh, keep it up, man. Keep it up. And I really hope the actor as Lemon is going to like this film because his buddy is in this film. So not bad. <music> so, Sony Picture, let me get you straight. So you are doing a comedy film starting the two DC actor and you hire a director that who did a Cruella movie by Walt Disney Company? All I got said... Still looking forward to this film. So let's hope this film will not be disappointed. Let's hope this film will kick the last Sony comedy comedy movie, which, uh, comedy movie, which is now than the new movie called Machine, starring Mark Hamill. Yeah, let's hope Dump Money will be way better than the Machine. In 2022, last year, we got a terrible Blumhouse Blom movie, which is none than Halloween End. I was really hope Halloween End will be a fantastic conclusion of how Michael Myers trilogy was born. But now, they turned that movie into a romantic comedy, and they made Michael Myers as a hero. What the heck? And so, yeah, and I was almost going to, I was almost going to be done with Blumhouse, because every single Blumhouse movie they did, it always bad. Well, except Freaky. Freaky is the only good Blumhouse movie I do enjoy. But after I saw the trailer of the Five Nights at Freddy, 
it will be a the banana split movie done right because honestly guys back in four years ago we have we have the most stupidest movie i have ever seen in warner brothers by world tour minor which is now than the movie called the banana split movie the banana split movie are trying to be like the new um trying to um trying to be like the new five nights of freddy which honestly guys now Honestly, guys, that is never gonna happen because the banana, uh, banana split movie do not suit up as a horror movie. It suit up like a comedy movie instead of a horror movie. But now we got a true products, everyone. We got a fine metal Freddy, and I was really worried that this film was gonna be ready PG thirteen. Like honestly, guys, who in the one might want to see a PG thirteen version of Five Nights at Freddy's? But after I work out all the research, and now this film is gonna be ready at all. Fantastic, and this film is going to kick Halloween in in the behind at the box office in Blumhouse. Oh yeah! Hmm... A show... It was on Adult Swim... And now the Fushiwama... Are going to Hulu for a new season. Alright, I sign up for Hulu... So let's get this show started. So what's up the show will not get ruined by Disney. Even I like Disney, but I do not appreciate Mickey Mouse... With his mini ears... Or getting rid of... Or getting ready for the for the adult content turning into like a turn um turn them into like a family friendly version of Fisher One. I honestly God, I do not want to see a I do not want to see a movie, I mean a show based on adult to be family friendly, which that's not gonna happen. From the creator from the Simpsons, so what's up the show when not would be down. I'm counting on you, Future Wama, do not do not be like the new SpongeBob, the Wild House, and the in the Fairy Odd Parent new season. Don't be like that. Be yourself. Do not, do not be like the Model Family Guy. <music> All right, guys, this is it. The final trailer we are going to talk about for this week's trailer roundup. It got nominated for Best Picture at the Oscar instead of Best Director. Which, honestly, guys, Oscar, what were you thinking? Which is nerd than Dune Part 2. And you know me for a while, I absolutely love the first Dune movie. Dune is honestly one of my second favorite October movie I have ever seen in my life because my favorite October movie, which is nerd than the Bond movie called No Time to Die, which is an epic, brilliant masterpiece. And that film is honestly one of my number four favorite film of all time in my opinion and sorry guys and i absolutely excited about this film because zendaya is going to be in this film the actress from no time to die is going to be in this film chris bo walken is going to be in this film and the actor from pussy booth the last witch is going to be in this film and even the legendary Austin Butler is going to be in this film. The visual work is absolutely amazing. The cinematography work absolutely beautiful, outstanding, and the acting from this trailer is outstanding. It's Oscar Rosie. And honestly, guys, in some of the matches they have in this trailer, it looks absolutely amazing. And I do love that matches because I'm probably some of the movie critic and the audience will understand how this film is very important. Same thing with No Time to Die and Alpha Total Way to Water, Frozen 2, and especially Across the Spider-Verse. And so, hey, guys, and I had a doubt. I had a doubt that this film is going to be one of my favorite films of the year because Across the spider Wars will always be my favorite film of the year because honestly guys, if this film would be my favorite film of the year, this film would be my favorite movie of all time, which that would be go overboard because honestly guys, there was no way in the monkey that this film is going to be way better than Across the spider Wars. Nah. Nah, I'm, nah, honestly guys, I'm just going to keep Across the spider Wars as my new favorite, as my favorite film of, of the year. So that's why I do part two. It's the last trailer we did talk about for this week's trailer roundup. And so let's hope this film will be way better than Troll Band Together. Honestly, guys, I'm still going to give that film a chance because I am no longer a Troll hater. So, yeah, I might see that movie in video. So just forget the revenge on Frozen Saints Studio. <laughs> Phew, that was a lot of talking of this trailer. And now this video want me to get me some water. I'll be right back with you, gentlemen. I'm going to get me some water. All that talking, we did talk about these awesome trailer works of the One Piece. Now it's time to drink some water to, for this trailer, for this celebration. Graduation for Doom Part 2 got a second trailer and now Doom Part 2 will not be disappointing. To be honest, 
that film is not going to be my, my favorite film of the year. Across the Spider-Wars will always, always be my favorite film of the year. And screw when Troll Patrol fans said that film is like the 9 11 of film. What you don't say that, it makes you so stupid. So, yeah, guys, that was my another episode of this week's trailer random. So, if any trailer I missed, like, I missed some of them, like the, like the show that directed, um, a Rick and Morty. Yeah, Rick and Morty. Um, I haven't seen that show because I'm a huge fan of Rick and Morty, but I haven't seen that one show that, that from the creator that he did Rick and Morty. But the creator for Rick and Morty got fired because of his controversial, which I don't want to talk about it. So, so yeah, if any trailer I missed, honestly, um, honestly guys, honestly guys, just let me know on the comment section below. Sorry guys, if you like this video, if you want to see more, please, I highly recommend you hit the subscribe button, um, comment on my, uh, comment on my video, and share this video, um, and share this video to the, to everyone for all ages, and I am no one going to say share this, uh, share this video with your family and friends. Honestly guys, share this video for everyone for all ages, like babies, teenagers, Adult, grandma, grandpa, mother, and father, just to show for them. Honestly, guys, just don't show any bad video of the past. Yeah, don't do that. It makes you so stupid. Anyway, guys, I see you next time. And so long again. Peace, YouTube.